Hello everyone, Dr. Polaris here. During the late Jurassic, numerous large marine animals inhabited the warm tropical seas of the Mesozoic world. While many of these belonged to various aquatic reptile groups, such as the ichthyosaurs and plesiosaurs, the most massive creature in the seas was a genus of ray-finned fish known as Leedzichthys. Belonging to a once diverse and successful order, the Pachycormiforms, Leedzichthys was a gargantuan filter feeder that superficially resembled modern basking sharks. Pachycormiforms as a whole are of uncertain placement within Actinopterygia, but phylogenetic studies seem to place them most consistently as the sister group to the extremely diverse teleosts, being in a more derived position than the gars and bowfins. Inhabiting a variety of niches that range from tuna and swordfish-like predators to large filter feeders, the closest, albeit still distant, living relatives of pachycormiforms are basal teleosts including eels, tarpons and ten-pounders. Leedzichthys was first scientifically described in the 1880s from colovian aged fossil bearing deposits dating to approximately 165 million years ago. The holotype specimen, recovered from a layer of the Oxford clay formation near Peterborough, England, was highly fragmentary and the remains were difficult to interpret, leading to the genus receiving the name L. problematicus. Later finds attributable to Leedzichthys were also found in Germany, France, Chile and Argentina in a temporal range that extended up to the Tithonian stage of the late Jurassic about 152 million years ago. In fact, the remains of at least 70 individuals have been described, with the vast majority of these being quite poorly preserved. This condition is due to the fact that much of the internal anatomy of Leodzichthys was not ossified and remained in the form of cartilage which tends not to become fossilised. The overall body shape was elongated and streamlined, with a proportionally large head and massive toothless mouth that could open wide enough to swallow a human in the largest of individuals. The tail fin was very tall and symmetrical, allowing the fish to power through the water at a relatively quick 11 miles per hour. Swimming in the warm, relatively shallow waters that surrounded Europe and South America during the late Jurassic, Leedzichthys fed on plankton that would have been filtered through the soft tissue and feathery gill rakers. Size estimates for this genus have varied wildly over the years, with paleontologist Dave Martill publishing a 1986 study which suggested a possible maximum length of 27 metres or 90 feet, making Leedzichthys equivalent to an average blue whale in size. This figure was sometimes increased to a truly astonishing 100 feet in popular science magazines in the 90s and early 2000s. More recent studies have significantly reduced the length of this genus to a still impressive maximum size of 16.5 or 54 feet and a potential mass of at least 40 tonnes. This is roughly equivalent to the modern filter feeding whale shark in terms of size, making Leedzichthys by far the largest ray finned fish to ever exist. Analyses of fossilised growth rings also suggest the animal took approximately 20 to 25 years to reach full adult size, with a particularly large specimen known as NHMP 10156 estimated to have been 45 years old at the time of its death. A gentle giant in life, Leedzichthys would have had little to fear from contemporary predators when fully grown, but juvenile specimens may have been targeted by pliosaurs such as Liopleurodon and Pliosaurus. The genus became extinct roughly 152 million years ago, perhaps due to a change in climate or to a reduction in plankton supply and diversity. However, close relatives of Leedzichthys would persist into the late Cretaceous, although these were far smaller than their titanic extinct cousin. Rincon Ichthys was a filter feeding animal and dwelt in the seas surrounding what is now the United States, Europe and Japan during the late Cretaceous. Three species are known, with these consisting of the up to 4.5 metres or 14.7 feet long Rincon Ichthys tayleri, and the smaller R. purgatorius and Uyenoi, which measured 2.7 metres or 8.8 .8 feet. Meanwhile, the similar genus Bonarichthys was an inhabitant of coastal North American waters and the interior seaway during the late Cretaceous. Measuring up to 20 feet long, Bonarichthys was also a filter feeder and dwelt in the same environment as a variety of dangerous predators, including the Mosasaur Tylosaurus, the Ginsu shark Critoxyrhina, and the bulldog fish Zephactinus. 
Despite being a long-lived and successful lineage that thrived for over a hundred million years, the Pachycomiforms died out during the KPG extinction event as a result of the decimation of their planktonic food supply. In modern times, their niches have been taken over by baleen whales, basking sharks and whale sharks, all of which are massive animals in their own right. However, Leedsichthys and relatives were relatively early pioneers of this type of ecological niche, and therefore deserve to be better remembered. Thanks for watching everyone. I'd like to thank all my recent patrons, including Steve S, Bile, Lottie Whitehorn, Will W, Big Red Dinosaur, and Aaron Rosenbaum for their support. And if you feel like sponsoring me, feel free to head over to my Patreon account for early access videos and other perks. Also stay tuned, as another video focusing on my Alter Earth project will be uploaded to YouTube in a few hours time. I hope you enjoyed it and until then I'll see you again soon. Cheerio.